Watch out. He's coming into it. He's coming into it. By yourself. Thanks to both Marcus Morris and Tim Hardaway Jr. Put the microphone on for us tonight here in Game 4. And what a start for the Clippers' two stars. It was Leonard in the first quarter, and PG-13 here scored the Clips' seven of the first nine in the second. Jalen Brunson's three-long goal, offensive rebound, the putback, no. Underneath, Hardaway had a chance. Also, Finney Smith, I beg your pardon, was in on the axe for the Mavericks. Unable to put the putback into the cup. George, that's a three. Paul George with 15 points to lead all scores. He is in a nice rhythm offensively. For a three-pointer for the Clippers. Rosinkas changed his mind. Finney Smith, three-pointer, a little bit short. And the rebound pulled underneath by Jackson. And those threes that were foul falling, really the first three games, have just not been there as Reggie Jackson attacks and draws the foul on Finney Smith. So Jackson will ready himself at the free throw line as the Clippers have opened up their largest lead of the night here in game four. The NBA Playoffs on TNT is brought to you by State Farm. For surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Burger King. What's better than an impossible Whopper? Getting a second one for just $1. Now, at Burger King. Boy, what a sight here in Dallas tonight. As has been the case, really, in NBA arenas all across the country. GA as they get close to full capacity. Better than 17,000 tonight. And that old NBA postseason sound yeah. is just about back. And boy, I tell you, you, you don't realize how much you miss that energy, the electricity in the building. But right now, the Mavs are searching for some electricity and energy of their own. A little conversation between Jackson and official Eric Lewis. So Porzingis sit, Boban Marjanovic, Kleba, and Finney Smith up front as Doncic is reinserted by Rick Carlisle. So Porzingis sits with seven points. Doncic, if you've just joined us, two of eight. He's missed his first three threes of the night. And the Clippers GA have scored 11 unanswered points. Hardaway puts a stop to that run. And a badly needed bucket for Dallas. And they need to get Tim Hardaway Jr. going. And offensively, he is so important to who they are. And they're going to need his offense. George back of the rim, no good. So the Clippers, a 45-29 lead. We come up on the seven-minute mark of the second quarter. Doncic underneath. Hardaway wide open. Won't get a better look than that. And Dallas still down 16 points. Here's Leonard, squares up, puts down another three. The Clippers 5 of 12 from deep, and Kawhi still hasn't missed. I think he started the, the, what, two games ago? He started 8 of 8 from the field as well. And so Luka also finally getting something to fall on the interior. But here... Early on, it's been the inability of the Mavs to string together stops and the consistent brilliance of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. So after the Doncic bucket, Clippers come up empty. Luka with Dallas in a 17-point hole. Doncic contact, the shot puts it down, and a chance at three for Dallas. And Luca, it looks like he is laboring just a little bit, but great patience there. And you can see uh, he, that, that neck, and I've had an issue with the neck before. It definitely affects your mobility, but the young fella trying to battle through it. 
You know, we asked Rick Carlisle about it, and you know, there's always the trust between coach and player to communicate you know, the pain threshold. They got a good little bond between them, and Carlisle didn't seem overly concerned. But uh, it has to be an issue for 22-year-old Luka Doncic, 4 of 10, if you've just joined us. He's got eight points. And he's cut the Clippers' lead at 15. Leonard wants to take Kleba. Double team with Luka. Morris at a three. And it belongs to Dallas. As the ball gets stuck up above the backboard but i tell you what that was a really good defensive possession and <laughs> what, what doesn't Boban do right he, I, he might start serving popcorn here in a, flip in a second so but that was a really good defensive possession as you see the ball gets stuck up top by the Mavs they did a great job of not allowing Kawhi to get that low post position and then they were loaded to provide help, and then a great job on the contest of the three. There's Jacic, finds his spot. Good look at it there. Morris is bumps. It'll be on Jacic on the reach in. No, I think it's just off. Uh, oh, you're right. No he foul. deflected it out. No foul. There's Lee barking out instructions as we come up on the five minute mark, second quarter, in front of 17,000 tonight here in Dallas. Jackson. Here's Leonard with Hardaway on his back. Smooth baseline, tough fade. Hardaway was there. And for Kawhi Leonard, his first miss of the night. Hardaway, good defensive rotation by Jackson. Kleba. Still seven to shoot. Marjanovic wants it. And you see Luka kind of bent over a little bit in obvious discomfort with that neck injury. And he is still grimacing in pain. Leonard from deep. Long offensive rebound, Zubats. Here comes George. Underneath, dangerous pass. Morris, contact shot. And Marcus Morris to the free throw line. Yeah, you can see that Luca is laboring right now, and that neck is definitely an issue for.